the United Aircraft Corporation handed over a batch of new Su-30SM-2 fighters and Yak-130 combat trainers to the Russian Ministry of Defense. The number of aircraft was not specified. The new aircraft received an improved complex on board radio electronic equipment thanks to the modernization carried out on the instructions of the Russian Ministry of Defense. The combat capabilities of aircraft have increased, in particular, the range of detection and identification of air targets has increased. The new radar, in combination with new high-precision weapons, would be capable of inflicting strikes against air, land, and sea targets at a distance of several hundred kilometers. The United Aircraft Corporation will likely hand over an additional batch of aircraft to the Russian Ministry of Defense, going by the schedule laid down in the State Defense Order. Su-30 SM-2 will feature Su-35 capabilities. The Sukhoi Experimental Design Bureau, in partnership with Urka Corporation, is developing a new modernized version of the Sukhoi Su-30SM, which is currently in service with the Russian Air Force and Navy. The modernized variant, which was earlier referred to as Su-30SMD, and is now designated as the Su-30SM-2, leverages the operational lessons that the Russian Air Force learned during its air campaign in Syria. The new variant features a more powerful AL-41 FS-1 engine, Urbis N-35 radar, improved avionics, in modern weapons, the AL-41 FS-1 engine and the Urbis N-35 radar were originally developed for the Su-35 fighter. The Su-30 SM-2 is an attempt to converge to the maximum extent possible the Su-30 family, but the Su-35 series to minimize logistics and maintenance overheads. Engines The initial lot of Su-30 SM-2 aircraft being delivered to the Russian Ministry of Defense does not feature the AL-41 F-1S engines. According to Interfax sources, deliveries of Su-30 SM-2 with AL-41 F-1S engines could begin no earlier than 2023. Flight tests of modified Su-30 SM with the AL-41 F-1S engine are to conclude by December 2023. Development Development of the Su-30 SM-2 was initiated under a project designated Adaptation Su, aimed at increasing the combat capabilities of the Su-30 SM and substituting foreign components with those developed in Russia. Initial efforts were focused on upgrading weapon load and avionics to a standard with the designation Su-30 SM-1. In 2018, Russian President Vladimir Putin sought the maximum possible convergence of the Su-30 SM and Su-35 platforms. Consequently, it was decided to power the upgrade with AL-41 F-1S engines and replace the BARS radar with the much more powerful Urbis radar. The upgrade was named Su-30 SM-2. The Su-30 SM-2 will be able to use the entire spectrum of modern and promising high-precision weapons of air-to-air -air and air-to-surface weapons, including KAB-250 glide bombs, as well as X-59 MK-2 air-to-surface missiles. Orders During a visit to the Irkutsk Aviation Plant in August 2020, Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu said that by the end of the year, Russian Ministry of Defense plans to sign a contract for the construction of 21 Su-30 SM-2 fighters and 25 Yak-130 trainer aircraft. The total cost of the order was projected at over 100 billion Russian ruble. In July 2021, sources in the military department told Izvestia that the first Su-30 SM-2 would enter service with the Baltic Fleet by the end of the year. Su-30 SM Participation in Russian Special Military Operation Russia is using its Su-35 and Su-30 SM fighters effectively. In the ongoing special military operations, the aircraft operate in sync as a two-aircraft package to strike Ukrainian ground targets and degrade Ukrainian air defense systems at the same time. Typically, the Su-30 SM operates as a ground attack fighter and the Su-35 as an air dominance fighter. 
providing top cover to the Su-30SM. With the Su-35 providing top cover, the Su-30SM descends to lower heights to visually acquire and destroy its target using KH-29 air-to-surface missile. In its daily brief, the Russian Ministry of Defense stated that high-precision missiles of Russian aerospace forces destroyed U.S. manufactured Hammer's multiple launch rocket systems. It is likely that the attack was carried out by Su-30SM or Su-35 fighters, both of which have radars capable of attacking ground targets at long ranges. Thanks for watching.